Imagine a teenage girl all alone in an apartment in Aleppo, the war going on outside. Disabled since birth, she can't walk and she tries to shut out the sound of the bombs by watching television incessantly, game shows, quiz shows, cookery shows, space documentaries and American soap operas. As a war correspondent, I spend a lot of time covering conflict and disaster. I wouldn't do it if it was all doom and gloom. Um, what keeps me going is sometimes meeting really inspiring people. And when I do, I like to tell their stories. Over the last year, the biggest story was the refugee crisis. It was the biggest movement of people into Europe since the Second World War. It didn't really show Europe at its best. One country after another closed their borders to refugees. Some of them built fences. Worst of all was Hungary, which built a 110 mile uh, razor wire fence on its border with Serbia to keep people out. And it was there at that border, the day that they closed it, which was the 16th of September last year, where a remarkable 16-year-old girl in a wheelchair appeared, uh, speaking fluent English, which she said she'd learnt from watching American soap operas. Her name was Nujeen Mustafa, and she'd never before left her home country. Indeed, uh, born with cerebral palsy and not able to walk, she'd never been on a train, on a plane, on a boat, and never seen the sea before. And yet here she was with her sister making this incredible journey. Like all refugees, they were escaping the bombing and trying to find safety. But in her case, there was another reason too. She hoped that when she got to Germany, she would be able to have medical treatment and perhaps one day learn to walk. In total, they'd crossed nine borders. They'd traveled 2,500 miles. They'd gone by plane, taxi, boat, um, bus and foot and they had done it all with a big smile on Najin's face. I think that Najin's remarkable story puts a human face on what's really the biggest story of our time. Her tale shows the challenges of the story, the, the smugglers, the anti-migrant politicians, all the difficulties of making a journey like that but it also shows the kindness of people that they met along the way and also just her incredible determination and inspiration to try and have a new life somewhere else.